you are awesome, and you're back. I'm Dan. This is Mandy. And you are watching Buzz Chomp. Woo, yeah, you go. Woo, woo, woo. yeah. Enjoy. 2018 Fitness Success. Hey, guys, you're back, and this is amazing because we've got a new year, which means a new chance to succeed at fitness. So it's 2018, right? Everyone wants to set fitness goals. They want to do something very specific for themselves and for fitness. Well, personally, I am going to shoot for milestones this year. We are getting rid of goals. Goals, you know, if you have a goal, you're kind of always going for that goal. And maybe you check it off and then you write a new goal. So you're constantly having a list of goals. This may work for some people, but it's a new year. So we want a new mindset and a new attitude towards our fitness. This is a way of life, something that we do because it makes us feel great. I love how I feel after I exercise. So I'm gonna be setting some milestones for myself this year. The first milestone is six weeks. So basically, Valentine's Day. That's our first milestone for the year. I want you to shoot between now and our six week mark, Valentine's Day, to just do enough fitness so you feel amazing. I am going to do a few things in that time period. I am going to attend a yoga class. I have a new baby at home. I didn't get to many in-studio yoga classes last year. I did a bunch of home practices, about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. It's tough with a child to do something much longer, especially when they're so young. My daughter's older now. Maddie's going to be a year in the end of uh, March. And so I'm going to get to a yoga class in studio. I used to get up early at 5 a.m. and go running. But with Maddie, she'd wake me up in the middle of the night. And so I'd be tired. Honestly, if I set my alarm for 5, Maddie would wake up at 4.30. If I set my alarm for 5.30, she'd say she'd wake me up at 5. This was a consistent pattern over the last three or four months. Before our first milestone of the year, I'm gonna get outside and go running early in the morning in the five o'clock hour. There's nobody out, it's liberating, it's freeing, and it just sets the tone for the day. I absolutely love going for a first thing run in the morning. I do it all the time on the weekends. My wife and I, Mandy, and I get out and do it. But I haven't done it much during the week. Well, that's all changing. We got a new year, and this is our new year fitness success. I'm also going to get up and do bigger, longer circuits full 30 to 45 minute circuits. I have the time, I'm going to be well rested, and I'm gonna do it. I want you to pick three to four things that you're gonna achieve that you wanna do in the first part of the year. These are goals, these are things you are going to do before the first milestone mark at Valentine's Day. If you wanna go hiking, go hiking in the first six weeks of the year. I understand if you're in a cold weather climate, that might be tough. Maybe you just wanna get outside for a run as often as possible. Well, as long as you get out a few times, that's great. You've done what you said you were gonna do before our first milestone. The key to our fitness success is doing things that are fun, that we enjoy, that make us feel great afterwards. There's nothing worse than exercising for 30 minutes to an hour and afterwards being like, that absolutely sucked, I hated it. And you've basically ruined the good feeling that the exercise gives you. The uh, blood flowing, the heartbeat up, the sweat, all that purge and cardio goodness and strength, like you want to feel strong, all that goes out the window if you have a negative feeling about your exercise. If you don't like the rowing machine, don't do the rowing machine. I don't particularly enjoy it, so I don't do it. I love at-home circuits. I love running. So I do those things as often as possible because they make me feel good. Even if it's hard and it sucks in the moment, afterwards, I am so happy I did it. Those are what you want to be doing for fitness, especially during these winter months. You're not going to be exercising as much when it's colder. It's just a fact of life. We all set these lofty goals to kick off the new year, yet it's winter time. It's hard to achieve them. Just pick three to four things that you're going to do and then do them by our first milestone mark. 2018 fitness success, baby. We're setting milestones and we're doing things by those milestone marks. You know what the great thing about a milestone is? If you happen to not do one of those three to four things that you said you wanted to do, you can do them 
by the next milestone or you can push your milestone back. The key is that you're feeling good, getting strong and sweating because we need to sweat consistently, ideally on a daily basis to purge the stress, purge the anxiety, purge all that negative toxins and all the things in our life that build up. We purge it by sweating. We purge it by exercising. Don't forget to subscribe to the Buzz Chump YouTube channel for all of your fitness success this year. I will be sharing my story and my fitness successes. Plus, we got a ton of workouts and challenges on Fridays. Buzz Chomp is one of your new homes for fitness in the new year. Comment below if you got questions, because I'm going to help you train in fitness. 2018 fitness success. Tune back in. More from Mandy and Dan on Buzz Chomp. Subscribe. Oh, yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm.